what's going on guys my name is Jordan and welcome to my flipping life so today we are on our way to my buddy's house and uh, we're gonna pick up some broom handles and some other stuff and I'm also gonna see if this schmuck has any Halloween decorations out because he said he hasn't he hasn't put any on I said I better not get there and you not have any Halloween decorations out when we're only a couple weeks away from Halloween so we're about to find out if he's got any Halloween out stay tuned so here's Eric's Halloween decorations I guess I can't make fun of him he came out and put them up for me <laughs> and we got our broomsticks All right, so we're back home. I didn't do a whole lot of filming with old Eric, but uh, we got a little bit of corn here. We didn't get much. Uh, I just want to be able to get enough to cover some of my props up. Uh, if I need more, I'll probably go back to my other friend's house and get uh, some more. But I got this little pile right here, and uh, hopefully that works because I want to put them around some of these props that I have here in the garage like around this one scarecrow I want to put it around this stand here so you don't see it so I'll have it you know coming up the the pipe there and just around the base of that just to kind of cover it up and then I'll probably put some random ones around some of these scarecrows also so that's the point and the reason why I just got a little bit is I don't need much. I'll probably cut them in half and stack them around that stand. And I got my broom handles here. This is just one. I'm going to take one up. And I got my little BFH. And uh, I'm going to take it up there. Pound, uh, pound this one into the ground and kind of get my plan going here. I'm probably just going to stake it for now. I don't know if I'm going to actually do the corn tonight. Um, but there's the corn we got going. But the wind, like I said, has pretty much knocked it all down. So I'm going to stake this one. Like right here at the corner. And how all this corn, you see like this pole standing straight, all this corn here should be even. And this corn should be even. And it's like way off. So we'll get this standing upright, get her going good. I'm going to pound this in and then I'm going to wrap string around the top and string around the bottom and this corn shouldn't fall over. So this is my plan. I got this wad of jute twine and then I have these broom handles so basically I'll just wrap the twine around the top and then go all the way to the other one and it'll make a big oval basically you know it'll be two strings be two strands coming off of this so you put your corn stalk down in there and then same, it will have another one down there on the bottom. You put your corn stalk down through both of them. And then you take that wire, or the twine, and you flip it. So you make a braid, and you stick the next one down. And you do the same at the bottom. It's going to be a lot of work. But it's sure as hell going to be a lot easier than trying to stick 200, 250 corn stalks in the ground, or whatever. However many that is, it's a lot. And that sucked. So I can imagine braiding them in is going to be way easier. Way easier. And it sounds like I might get an early day tomorrow at work. So that's going to be what I'm going to do tomorrow. I got one stake in the ground already. It's dark. I don't want to deal with it now. So I'll wait till this weekend. If I get off work early tomorrow, great. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, when it's completely uninterrupted and I can just get it done just put my head down and do it and I'll add the other wall in and I'll do that too and that way this weekend we can go to pumpkin patches and do whatever we're gonna do this weekend and uh, Saturday night I'm gonna hook up my other lights 
because I got a white spotlight and I'm thinking putting that somewhere like on the porch stairs that shines up because I want to put Twisted Tina on the porch roof so that light will shine up and light her up for trick or treat and then I'm getting a green uh, projection light kind of like the blue one and the orange one I have out front I'm getting a green one that should also be here Saturday and I want to put that on my witch because you know I gotta add some lights into her bucket her cauldron that I made so that's my uh, ideas for this weekend um, like I said you're gonna start seeing a lot of things in big chunks uh, the corn was the biggest chunk, I, I, I do believe, of everything I have so far. You know, we got the graveyard up, and I had the scarecrow. So now doing the actual corn walls, uh, I was able to really give you the picture of what in the world I had in my head this whole time. And unfortunately, now I have to redo the dang walls, but I want it to be right. And I don't want everything falling over and looking crappy. and So I'm going to redo that. And then I'm going to add some random stalks where I need it. And uh, get this going. And like the next big chunk is going to actually be like putting out props. Is, is going to be the biggest one. Because now we got some lighting out. And we're getting more lighting. And I, I'm done buying stuff. So... Uh, I, I do I do have to buy a couple strands of orange lights other than that I'm not buying anything but I need to look downstairs in my basement first because we have a huge tote in the basement and I know there's tons of strands of lights down there so I need to check there first before I go buy more stuff so I'm gonna check on that and see and I'm I think I'm also gonna stop at Rite Aid tomorrow too after work and see if I can snag some deals if they're having their 50% off with your members card thing um, Because apparently I'm a member there. I didn't know that so Maybe I can get some deals on some Halloween stuff I don't want to buy anything, but if they have some lights and I can get them dirt cheap I'm gonna get them dirt cheap So that's my plan Like I said not a whole lot going on today. I did put that stake in the ground. It's good to go now I got to put the other two out and then start stringing some twine and then just start braiding, flipping and braiding, flipping and braiding uh, and cram those corn stalks in there and they shouldn't move. Um, and that's really all I have going right now. I've got all the props set up. Everything's ready to go. We are ready to rock and I'm excited because my trick-or-treat to go and eventually I'm gonna put out my big trick-or-treat flags and this is what they look like it'll focus that close it's just a jack-o-lantern says trick-or-treat they're three foot by five foot I figured I'll put one on the outside of the corn wall and then the other side by my neighbor's driveway that way everyone knows we're doing trick-or-treat if you uh, already don't get the gist of what's going on out front because you know 10 months out of the year, I don't have a cornfield in my yard. So maybe I'm doing some Halloween trick or treating, you know. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, just maybe. All the lights and everything. This, this place is looking sweet. It's looking cooler. Uh, I'm really glad I listened to the guys in the forums, in the haunt groups, and everything, and told me to add lighting because at nighttime, I really wasn't thinking of the other nights leading up to the trick-or-treat i was just kind of thinking like well my trick-or-treats during the day so it doesn't really matter no one's gonna care you're not gonna see the lights but it's all the days leading up to it that people get to drive by real slow and enjoy it and that's what everyone does when they drive by it's real slow driving by checking it all out so next year i'm definitely going to add more lighting like a lot more lighting and uh some other stuff this year i didn't really do much on the porch because the yard's the main like the main area last year the porch was like the main thing but i didn't really do like a haunt last year nothing nothing close to what i'm doing this year so last year isn't even like a freckle on the butt of this year <laughs> 
this year is awesome and we're we're going all out as hard as i can with everything i have and i've purchased and uh, some of the friends that are going to come out and help me do this so i'm excited they're all excited and uh I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to I'm ready to put everything out now, but I just don't want my stuff ruined, stolen, rained on, destroyed. The wind's already destroying everything of mine and I'm trying to combat that and fix it and fix all the problems. So next year I'm probably not doing corn, I'll tell you that. Unless this whole rope deal and, and stakes works great, then I will probably do corn again. Just depends. Uh, I'm definitely going to change my theme. And I've already kind of got some ideas. I'm going to have to start jotting stuff down. Because I was already talking to my buddy Eric today. About what I want to do next year. And uh, it's going to be awesome. So hopefully next year doesn't turn out like next year did this year. <laughs> because what I did this year is totally different than what I thought I was going to do this year. When I made my videos last year. So. Stay tuned. There is a lot coming up. There is a lot coming up. We're going to add stuff every single day. I'm going to try and vlog. Doing the corn wall. Getting that fixed up. And I'll show you how I do it. And all that stuff. So I'll kind of do like a little tutorial. But it's going to be built into the vlog. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. And uh, I'll show you how effective it is. And then there's going to be wind coming so i'll show you how it withstands to the wind so stick around make sure like share subscribe let me know what you think of the haunt and uh let's go let's make this year the best year ever happy haunting <laughs>